Ladies and gentlemen, we finally have what it takes to fully review the Thanos uniform. So we're going to do a quick little showing at level 70 just to showcase how proc friendly he is. And he is very, very proc friendly. And then we are going to, um, to move into everything else. The level 80 stuff, talk about the weaknesses, the flaws of the character. Talk about maybe why he's not really getting uh, as much love as people were expecting him to get, etc. Cetera, et cetera. We're off to a really good start, actually. Uh, proccing on the tier 3 turns out pretty pretty nice stuff. I didn't know that proccing on the tier 3 hit like that, because I might just proc on the tier 3 then. Uh, yeah, that, that works uh, actually really well, and I don't get stunned by this. Perfect, okay. So that's actually my best opener with uh, with Thanos here. I do have a CTP of energy. I'm rocking a CTP of energy. I'm um, just a regular CTP of energy, but 40 seconds on the rip there is very, very good. He has iframe ignore on his fourth skill, which is the skill you're canceling into. So he has a very clean combo. Uh, just like Squirrel Girl, he can cancel pretty much all of his skills into one skill. So he's got a very proc friendly rotation. Unlike Squirrel Girl, he does not have any issues with his tier three, um, you know, changing the way he procs or changing how pro effective he is to proc i didn't press the third skill last time my bad uh this will be this will be fixed here momentarily uh we'll just, we'll just proc on five six that's fine uh but yeah so unlike squirrel girl despite my my own mistakes he is very proc friendly um i would give him basically a 10 out of 10 for proc friendliness uh, it's it's very easy to proc with him and like i said because look at that look at that look at that because the fourth skill has iframe ignore, you can continually push through uh, these different effects very, very easily. We're going to pop this here. Then we're going to pop the full rotation. And if Null's not dead, he should be very close. Yeah. Okay, now we don't have super armor here. So, oh my god. And then Thor interrupted us and canceled all of our attacks. Okay, so we should have finished that one um, about 10 seconds earlier. So he can almost do the 100 second challenge here on stage 39, which is pretty good. But yeah, it, it's it's pretty good. This is this is the issue here with Thanos. So on the plus side, right, like let, let's highlight the pluses first before we start going into the minuses. Um, on the plus side, he is very pro like extremely proc friendly, very, very easy to play. You know, five, 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 cancel three, cancel or five, cancel one, cancel two, cancel three, cancel four or more simply five cancel three cancel four uh, and then you can do either you know six delay cancel five cancel three cancel four or you can do um or as i just found that you can do because he does have a proc on his tier three skill i believe you can do five cancel three cancel four cancel six right or you could just do five cancel three cancel six but you can also see this in the practice combo where they tell you to do the six skill and then cancel that and then boom right and that's kind of the combo that works really well. Um, I actually I actually end up uh, canceling the six skill a lot later. You can actually cancel it as soon as he creates the orb in his hand. Um, so you, that's just something to get used to. But yeah, the, the skill combo is actually very, very good at um, explaining that. So yeah, he's, he's crazy proc friendly. He is extremely tanky. Uh, and so it's he's very easy to play both offensively and defensively. He finally has a good leadership. I was using Green Goblin's leadership there, but if we go up to a higher stage where you can't use Green Goblin or where they just don't match up for stages or whatever, or certain days of ABX, ABL, um, then it, it's a really good leadership, right? To, to have that 50-40 lead. And it's also very flexible for PvE and PvP because it has the debuff immunity. Now, as far as my build goes, I do have four Odin's Blessings. I have eight, but four of them don't count for PvE. They're just for PvP. Um, and then we have Power of Angry Hulk. We have a four-star artifact. We do have the artifact. Um, and then we have the, a CTP of Energy. Now, I put a CTP of Energy on him from the get-go rather than starting with an obelisk because I figured... Uh, realistically, no one's going to be purchasing this uniform for 2,500 crystals because it's not going to be discounted. It's never going to be discounted and it's going to disappear in a few days and then you're going to have to wait a year to get it again. So this is an extremely expensive and extremely rare uniform, basically the most expensive and rare uniform in the game. You're not going to give him an obelisk. But unfortunately, the reason like the reason for his lackluster um you know reaction from the community the reason why people are lukewarm about thanos is exactly that for having the most expensive and rarest uniform in the game um because you know so other characters have rare uniforms like squirrel girl 
Other characters have expensive uniforms like Jean Grey, but nobody has the combination of most expensive and most rare. So that goes to Thanos. So for having that award, you can call it, um, he doesn't bring anything new to the table. Straight up, he does not bring anything new to the table. He's not that good in PvP, right? Uh, and they actually didn't give him any new tricks. They actually removed the trick. So if, if you were to make an argument that he's worse for PvP now, you would be correct. Because they actually removed an ability. He used to remove all buffs from the target, which is it's a meaningful distinction here. This is not sort of picking, uh, you know, splitting hairs here. Removing all buffs is quite a lot more powerful than just removing the active buff. Now, I don't know if this is an oversight by the developers, but... Uh, basically, Thanos is in a situation where he's not good enough uh, to be the best or second best even for PvP, and he's certainly not good enough to be best or second best for PvE. So we're going to go ahead and take him to level 80 right away here. I was originally, I was originally really looking forward to tier 4 in Thanos. I thought he was going to be like, like clearly very strong, um, but he's not. He's not, and this is really irritating because look how expensive this dude is. We're using um, we're using life seed here, but here let me let me show you. That's three hundred tier three materials. The the bios are pretty nuts, right? I just used nine hundred bios, um, and it's gonna get it's gonna get nuttier here. Uh, let me use these blade bios. A thousand. You can use materials. I'll use materials here on the next one to show you guys this next pass. The tier three materials are honestly not that bad, but here if we use if you use materials, seven hundred ninety black antimatter. It's still a lot. It's still a lot, but uh, but it could be worse. It could be worse. A thousand, we're up to a th so we went from three hundred twice to a thousand. Wow, that's that's a that's certainly a jump. We'll use Thor bios here, just casual thirteen hundred bios. Yeah, and now the last one is that wasn't a thousand then. I'm I'm tripping. I'm tripping. It must have been like six hundred or something like that. But anywho, uh, we'll use we'll use ten component packs here. So it is it is still it's expensive on the tier three materials, but not as expensive as I thought. And we can use Red Skull Bios, that's fine, 1500 But yeah, very, very expensive. There's this bug in the game now where you get a character to level 80 and it doesn't prompt you to do the achievement. So you have to go in manually yourself and go and fetch your crystals. And what is it called again? Mad Titan? No, it's called Universal Peace. Sure, whatever. So yeah, level 80, let's go. I'm not going to do anything else. There's really nothing else that needs to be done he should like he did he did that he did that stage in 100 seconds so we should see a massive increase here We're, i want to do a bunch of testing but uh yeah this is this is essentially the issue with thanos is he's just not good enough he's good he's good all around and he's a good character because um you know uh, having a two having an option to build him as a two-way character is uh, quite nice right did I not proc? Wow. Cool. All right. Sure. Yeah. Yeah, he's done. Okay. So, yeah, a, a bit of damage uh, saturation where we just we're doing way too much damage. So we we saved about 15 seconds, which is nice. It's not bad. Don't get don't get me wrong. Um, but yeah, let's see if we just knock him out of the park here. Not quite. Okay. We should here. But yeah, uh, the issue with Thanos is that he's he's you know he's just not dominating enough, and I don't think he needs. There, there are already people calling for his buff on the forums, so let, let's be clear here. There are already people uh, calling for his buff on the forums. Um, nice, very nice. I like seeing the the health just disappear, brother hub. Very nice. A minute. Very nice. Okay, that looks good. This 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 makes it look like it's a stage nine clear, right? And he should be done here. Perfect. Okay, so yeah, we saved about thirty seconds. I would say thirty to forty seconds. That's not bad. Take a look on stage seventy four. I previously crushed these stages with a combination of Hulk and Namor, but let's see how he does here. Um, now, yeah, the issue with Thanos is essentially that he's not really good enough for either piece of content. Um, so it really just begs the question, what's the point, right? With a character this expensive, you um, you want to make sure that you're going to be getting your money's worth. 
and people are not feeling that way about Thanos at all right now. And uh, yeah, that's that's essentially what it boils down to. You definitely felt like you were getting your money's worth with Jean, and and Jean is a very expensive character, right? Jean is a very expensive character. I was doing this to dodge the cage, but I, I'm feeling like I missed more damage than I gained from just standing still for five seconds. I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, Jean is a very expensive character, but she delivers. She she certainly delivers, and she's actually like she's still more expensive than Thanos. You can get Thanos for free at one star now, um, in the in the shop for for like two million, basically two million gold. It's it's basically free, right? You get him at one star, so you basically just save yourself the two days of playing him in World Boss Ultimate to get five bows each day. Um, but to be honest, the people that uh, couldn't unlock him that way probably won't be able to build him up once they've unlocked him for two two million gold. But he's basically free to unlock now. Um, and he's obviously a lot cheaper crystal wise because someone like Gene has, of course, uh, to get, you know, Magneto, etc. You got to finish the Epic Quest, but still, but still, right? Gene is the best. Like, look at the difference, right? Look at the difference in how we measure these characters performance. Gene is the best character in the game for all content, <laughs> right? She's the best for, for basically all content. There's an argument to be made that there are better characters for something like Alliance Battle Legend, but that's that's basically the only game mode where Gene doesn't have total undisturbed dominance, right? That's insane. Now, when Thanos pulls up, you're expecting this, a similar reaction. Or you're, you're expecting at least a, a little bit of the same, right? Okay, I missed the third skill there. He's not even doing very well on this stage, to be honest. And what's annoying is he's getting guard broken as he's starting to wind up his rotation. I don't know, like, here's here's the thing. Here's one thing about Thanos. They didn't give him super armor and guard break. They didn't give him super armor and all defense from the get-go, right? Like, on his, on his main kit. And this serves a dual function. One, it ensures that he doesn't get guard broken um, in PvE content like this. Which is, it's really annoying when it happens. And it just makes the character feel like they kind of suck. Right? Like, it's it just feels like a, a low... A low quality character trait that they're getting guard broken as they're winding up attacks um, and that that's that spills over that bleeds over into uh, PvP where not having super armor uh, on his main kit with all defense actually affects his performance so like an easy fix there would have just been to give it to him um, and it wouldn't have made him so OP so broken right I mean yeah two minutes left again Dr. Octopus can do this uh, for way less, right? Dr. Octopus can do it at this speed for way less. Namor can do it for for less. There's just no there's just no need for him. This should help illuminate Thanos more. This is a very wonky team setup. You're looking at it and you're like, why are you using Ebony Maw and uh, and Taskmaster? I'll explain it in just a minute. Okay, this will make sense later. Uh, thankfully, we can use Thanos lead because of course. Ebony lead uh, doesn't have any, doesn't do anything for Thanos because he doesn't do uh, energy damage. He does uh, physical damage, or he has, sorry, he does he does energy damage. He doesn't have physical he his, his physical attack to scale his his damage, not energy attack. So Ebony's lead doesn't do anything for him. But yeah, I'll explain why in a minute here. We are comparing him to a character that I had cleared this content with at level eighty because it's it's kind of hard to remember. Um, one thing that Thanos doesn't do well is deal with Gore's movement. So you actually end up losing a lot of time um, just waiting for Gore to move around and get situated in his rotation. Yeah, okay. All right, okay. Let's see Let's see how this shakes out. I don't know. But I'll, we'll reveal at the end who he's being compared to and what, he's, what speed he's being compared to because this is really going to um, – this is going to matter a lot. Okay, he does a lot, he does enough damage with his one and two to take out these clones, which is good. Okay, uh, that's good. Save the last one here. We're gonna get the row of five. Okay, the RNG is kind of bad. All right, take him out. Not a lot of AOE as you can see on these skills. Pop off here. Five. Ooh, nice. Very nice. Almost eight bars. Really nice stuff here. And then finish. Okay. That's good. This is good. So we'll see. We'll see. Not bad. 
320 is not bad for stage 34. Like, like he's really strong, right? He's not, he's not bad. The, the, the hard part about this review is that Thanos is good. He's super proc friendly, and he can always be retooled, right? Rebuilt for PvP. I'm not really talking about PvP in this video, but he does have that. Um, he does have that, uh, you know, flexibility that a lot of characters don't have. A lot of other characters just don't have that flexibility. Um, and look at this. He can just stand. Okay, well, we we screwed up our proc there, but he can just he can he can tank a lot of what Gore does, whereas most characters absolutely cannot. Right, most characters would not be able. They'd be far even tier fours at this point would be dead. So his his tankiness, bro. Not pressing the third skill is like my magnum opus. Um, you know, a lot of a lot of his tankiness is really good. So okay. So add like okay, true. Add like 15 seconds to that. That puts us at about 235. Okay. Just to give you guys a point of reference, and keep in mind that energy is a lot faster than rage. But Black Bolt, right? When I was on vacation here, Black Bolt was doing this stage. Um boy, this is okay. There we go. Black Bolt was doing this stage. Um, with a rage, right? With a with a, it, it seems like it's a it seems like it's a regular rage, because there's only two um, icons there, and obviously one of them is, uh, one of them is for the insight CTP, so it's not a mighty rage. So Thanos being about 35 to 45 seconds faster with an energy means it probably means that he's about he's about on pace with Black Bolt. The difference is Black Bolt doesn't compete with, like, Black Bolt has no competition for the days that you use him for in other content. And certainly for the PvE content, like the World Boss Legend content, etc., uh, you know, uh, Black Bolt has fewer options than Thanos because Inhumans locks him out of a lot of stuff, whereas Thanos is available as an alien. So Thanos can basically double up for any of the alien, universal alien, alien male stages that Thor can do. But Thor has other value because he's a really good farmer. I, I, I make the joke about farmer because literally farming in Marvel Future Fight, whereas they gave Thanos the farmer outfit. Um, yeah, it's it's just it's just like a weird conundrum that he's in. If he was if the, if Thanos was just twenty percent, fifteen percent stronger, this would be an easy recommend, right? Because that, that's the thing with with uniforms, you want to be able to very quickly and succinctly uh, explain why the uniform is a must buy or why the uniform is mostly a skip. But for Thanos, it's not really the case, right? Because his uniform does have utility. It does make his leadership better. You know, it does add stuff to his kit. It makes him a lot easier to play for PVE and it maintains most of his PVP dominance, but it doesn't make him good enough in most cases to justify the price tag. So I, it's still not a must recommend, but it's certainly not a must skip. Like it's not an easy skip. It's something you do have to think about. Um, I think it would just depend on what your roster of tier fours looks like right now, right? So for me, having Black Bolt and Thor means I don't really need Thanos for anything because Black Bolt and Thor cover the majority of content that Thanos is going to do. And I can still play pretty well, not outstanding, but I can still play pretty well with Loki. And it's not gonna be very long until Loki gets a uniform, right? On the other hand, if you didn't have Black Bolt at all, if you didn't have Thor at all, especially not Tier 4, um, Thanos looks a lot more appealing because he can sort of do both of what they're doing, right? He can kind of double dip. Um, but yeah, that's kind of my take. I know it was really long-winded. I know we didn't get into PvP, but uh, yeah, Thanos, unfortunately, doesn't really move the needle enough, um, especially for a seasonal uniform. Like, it's it's... If you compare what Black Bolt was doing when he was released, right? Black Bolt blew everybody out of the water. Black Bolt was in, was the best, like he was the he was the number one DPS until Gene showed up, right? And now he's still number two. So Thanos showing up now after Black Bolt, after Gene, uh, and not really pushing things, kind of makes you wonder what uh, what they were thinking. So yeah, hit me up in the comments down below. Let me know. Thanks so much for watching. Smash the like button, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.